you want to see one of the most beautiful lakeside communities in all of British Columbia, here you're going to find stunning lakeside cottages, endless nature to explore, and some of the best caving in all of Canada. Come with me as we check out Horn Lake here on Vancouver Island. Now, before we get started, if you have a second, give us a like or subscribe. It lets us know what we're doing, you like, and you want to see more of it. Now, without any further ado, let's go check out the lake. No words or video can truly capture the beauty you're going to find here at Horn Lake. This is a lovely lakeside community found in the mountains of Vancouver Island, just about 45 minutes north of Nanaimo, British Columbia. People who come here love staying at their stunning lakeside cottages, exploring the rugged nature, and camping at the amazing campgrounds found at the west end of the lake. Did you know that Vancouver Island has the most caves in all of Canada? And here at Horn Lake, you can take one of the absolute best guided tours. Here, you can go from about an hour and a half up to six hours, and it depends the length on how deep you want to go. Now, you're going to have to excuse me, some of the video I'm about to show you is quite shaky. When you arrive in these caves, you will be in a state of awe. While in here, you're going to be traversing ladders, descending metal slides, climbing waterfalls, and squeezing through tight rock formations. There's always an easier and more challenging route to choose from, and the guides are always low pressure and very patient. So this here is that three-tier waterfall I was talking about. And you can climb up that? Yep. Yeah, I mean, no. No? Huh, I might go up one. Uh, oh yeah. If you start, you have to finish climbing. Oh, because you... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the end of it. It's too dangerous to go down. No, you head up, yeah. and then head to the right, and then you take the cave tray down. No, the cave slide down, and then we come right back down that ladder. Oh, we go all through the entrance. Yep. Okay. As you're exploring the caves, you're gonna make multiple stops as they explain different points of interest and historical features. These guides are passionate about what they do and extremely experienced. Honestly, it was life-changing, and I'm so glad that I went and did this because I was confronting some claustrophobia I definitely felt while I was signing up on their website. So I'm going up through your leg. Yep, and then up through here. And up through? Up through there. And all fit? Yep, uh, sometimes it's easier if you get your hip up above these two ledges. Oh, okay. Holy crap, let me take it. Now, if you have absolutely no interest in going in these caves, which I can completely understand, I still highly recommend coming out to this park. Here, you're gonna find multiple different hiking trails that'll lead you up to four different cave openings. And these trails have multiple different points of interest that'll tell you about the rock formations, fossils, and the caves underneath your feet. It is truly worth your time to go on this little hike. It is beautiful up here. Camping here at Horn Lake is very popular, and it's not hard to understand why. Whether you're camping on the shoreline or amongst the mossy trees, you're going to be very happy. Go swimming at the beach, fishing at the lake, hiking on the trails, or rent a canoe to visit Turtle Island. There's so much to do and explore here. I'm even told that mountain climbers love to scale the mountains overlooking the lake. Now, if you want to book a campsite, book through the Regional District of Nanaimo's website, which I've included a link down below. Here you can explore the availability map based on the dates you plan to stay. Keep in mind, space is limited, so plan accordingly. If you're coming from the mainland and arriving to Nanaimo via seaplane or ferry, you're going to take about an additional 45 minutes from Nanaimo to get to Horn Lake. After turning off the highway, it'll take about another 20 minutes drive to go around the lake and arrive at either the campsites or Horn Lake Caves. This drive is spectacular and actually one of the best parts of coming here. 
Now, if you're not stocked up on provisions before you go, I highly recommend stopping off at Qualicum Beach on your way to Horn Lake. Here, you're gonna find a grocery store, liquor store, and all the things that you need, which you will not find up at Horn Lake. Now, after leaving Highway 19, you'll drive down Horn Lake Road, which turns into a gravel road a few kilometers along the way. Now, there is a lot of dust and potholes, which are factors to consider. I've driven up here with both a car and a truck and had absolutely no problems. Driving up to Horn Lake, you're gonna pass by other amazing places, Illusion Lakes and Spider Lake. These are more shallow than Horn Lake and popular places to visit with locals on a beautiful sunny day. There's multiple beaches, islands, and trails to explore around these lakes and worth a visit if you're on your way to or from Horn Lake. If you're planning on relocating here or you want to just buy a summer cottage, keep in mind there are very few homes for sale in the Horn Lake community because there are so few homes. This is a private community managed by a strata with monthly fees of around $100 per month. And these homes exist on a bare land strata, which are quite common in these areas outside of municipal communities where the strata corporation provides the services without which there would be none. Now, if you want to learn more about this community or other lake communities on Vancouver Island, like Lake Cowichan or Shawnigan Lake, then click the links down below. I hope you get to live the island life soon. And if you want to learn more about doing so, I'd definitely check out this video right here or this video right here.